I'm Berry Billingsley and I am fascinated by the big questions. These are questions like, is the universe intended to be here? Is a person a material thing? A spiritual and material thing? Is the question a silly question or is it just not worth asking because we'll never know the answer? If a robot walked into the room right now and claimed that it had the status of a person, how would we know whether or not to believe it? As well as my interest in the big questions, I'm also fascinated by physics. I studied physics at university. Physics is an example of an empirical science. That means that we gather data, observational data often, to test out our ideas. So I'm now going to show you some physics in action. I have a glass and some water. I've just put some green food colouring into the water to help it to show up. There we go, and I have a cloth here. You've probably seen these cloths before. And you'll know that they have little holes in them. And then I've got an elastic band. Now we don't really need the elastic band for this, we could just hold it, but it will make it all easier for me to hold. So the thing is, if I tip this up, I don't think you'll be too surprised to see that the water comes out. There we go, probably what you expected. What about if I turn it right upside down? What's going to happen then? So based on your understanding of how nature works, you can now make a prediction. And the wonderful thing about this particular investigation is we can test it out. So here we go. Is that what you predicted? Maybe it is. So the physicist in me now wants to know why is that happening? If this cloth has little holes, why is the liquid not now going out through the cloth? Well, the wonderful thing about an empirical science is that we can gather observations and if we're really lucky, we can even do experiments. We can test out ideas and see what we can see. So um, I could try tipping again because when I tipped before, I got liquid out. So let's see if that still happens. Yep. And in fact, I can see bubbles going up when I tip. So maybe that's a bit of a clue. I could try swapping over the cloth. If I think this is magic, I could even give it to somebody else and they could see if they can do it too. Epistemic insight, roughly speaking, means knowledge about knowledge. But it's a little bit more strategic than that. It's actually the knowledge about knowledge that tends to be missed out by what we teach children about knowledge in school. So typically in a school, you have lots of subjects, compartments, you have a science compartment, a history compartment, an RE or religious education compartment. Within each of those subject compartments, teachers work very hard to try to make what they're teaching make sense. But my interest is what happens when the children take what they've learnt in those individual subject departments and they try to put it all together. So suppose, for example, you're given a question to investigate scientifically in a science lesson. Would you get a more interesting answer if you looked at the same question through the lenses of other disciplines? 